Hi everyone, I'm Alex Valberts. I'm Paul Barquita. And we're back with a weekly catch. We're sorry about uh, missing the show last week, but you know, we had some things to do, but we're back now. Uh, the Masters wrapped up Sunday, and you know, we said like, this is one of the most consistent, you know, tr Sunday drama at the Masters. You can count on it every year. Uh, Adam Scott finally winning his first major, and um, we're just talking about the competition in right. golf right now is at maybe its highest ever. Mm -hmm. No, I definitely agree because Tiger finally got back to the being number one in the world after winning a bunch of uh, events and stuff. But like you said, Adam Scott almost came out of nowhere. I mean, he was treading water a little bit. I honestly thought An Angel Cabrera was going to take it all. He, he really was playing well down the stretch. But like I said, the, com the competition that, that uh, is really going around right now, Adam Scott pulled it out. So Yeah, I mean, it's good for him. Adam Scott, you know, he had a lot of bad luck last year. Mm -hmm. They talked about it. He finally caught a break this year. He played real well. And he got his first major. Cabrera was there. That playoff mm -hmm. was real exciting. Like, right, yeah. They, they, they went chip for chip, putt for putt mm -hmm. for a while in those last few holes. And it was like, right. and the leaderboard was stacked at the end of the Jim time. Furyk. You Furyk know, was in it. Age, and all those, the other guys. It. like Jason Day was Jason up there. Jason Day was up there. All those Australians. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was, it was, it was three fun. Australians and one Argentine in the last right. four. But you know, we got to talk about Tiger, obviously. Yeah. He's back to number one in the world. He came out strong Thursday and Friday. Mm -hmm. And then the infamous, what we're going to be talking about for a while now, yeah. is the drop. Mm -hmm. You know, he hits a great shot to the green and bounces off the flag stick, and he goes into the water. And now he goes and he admits after his round that he drops a few feet back. Mm -hmm. And I was, this is going to be controversial for a while. What Did you think he should have been penalized in two strokes? Did you think, uh, you know, originally two years ago he wouldn't have been protected under this rule, mm -hmm. and he had signed his card wrong, and he would have been disqualified. But, right. you know, the new rule says... The, the tour guy said, you know, it's good, you can sign your card mm -hmm. and go ahead. Do you think he should have disqualified himself? Or what do I you don't think, think he should have disqualified himself. Like you said, taking Tiger out of the, out of the matchup on Sunday would just oh, be bad for it would, golf. It would be you know? terrible for the ratings. The, yeah, exactly. You, I mean, letter of the law says you can't. got you a can. two-stroke penalty. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah, right. So he was, he was, what, two back? He would have been two back at that point if that, that shot well, would have. Yeah, he had a possible birdie, yeah. and then it turned into a bogey, and then it turned into two, two more, more off of right. this game. So, you know, it really hurt him. It, mm -hmm. He made, yeah, like a, I said, he made a late charge on Sunday, but it, he mm -hmm. was kind of out of it after that point. Yeah, and I think, you know, mentally he gets back into, into oh, his yeah. head now. I mean, he is Tiger Woods, don't get me wrong, but any any golfer, once you get once you get a two, two uh, drop on that, so it's just bad. So yeah, but I mean, the, the question is, drop. is Tiger, it seems like he's getting back. Mm -hmm. He's never going to be the Tiger of, you know, when he won four, right? yeah. four majors in a row. I don't mm -hmm. think he's ever going to be that. You know, people keep asking, is he going to win that those next four majors to catch mm -hmm. Jack? Do you think he wins one this year? This year? I don't think We're, so. I, I personally, you know. There's like, just so many good the, golfers. Right, the competition is getting, is getting really rough. And like I said, he, he's back. Kind of, you know, getting back to his swing and everything. I think next year I, I, could, I could really see him taking maybe the Masters, coming back from what happened this year. Mm -hmm. You know, he's playing with the edge on his shoulder. So, uh, yeah, but again, yeah. golf is get, it's getting re really, really intense. Yeah, I mean, I guess we'll see in June. We'll find out at the, the U.S. US Open. Open. Yeah. And uh, moving on to NBA, the playoffs mm -hmm. have all set. They got a couple days off, and they mm -hmm. start off Saturday. Uh, in the East, we'll start in the East. Heat, Bucks, uh, do we really need to talk about that that no, much? Miami. That should, if that's not a sweep, I'll be yeah, really surprised. That's, yeah. The Bucks are the only team in the playoffs with a losing record. Exactly. So, yeah, uh, Heat, uh, they'll take that in the four. Heat if they yeah. don't, I'll be very surprised. Uh, we got the 4-5, Nets, Bulls. I like that matchup, honestly, because I like Chicago making a little bit of a run yeah, because, they, as you can see, that they, they ended, ended the defense. Heat's right. They, they, I mean, you know, they don't have Rose, which which is which is big, and you know, they got to get Noah back. I think Noah's back now. Yeah. So you know, that for having him down low. Thibodeau has a great job coaching this yeah. year without their best player exactly. and making the, the playoffs. You can, you can always make a run of playoffs with great defense, yeah, as we can see yeah. in the last couple of years. So I mean, ultimately, whoever wins the series, it's kind of a toss up. Whoever mm -hmm. wins, probably losing to the Heat. Yeah. The way the Heat are playing. I don't no. see anyone. I think the Heat have a pretty easy road to the conference finals. Mm -hmm. um, the three six Pacers Hawks. Mm -hmm. I don't really like the Hawks. I mean, I like Al Horford oh, a lot, him. but Pacers. You know, I really like that lineup with like Hibbert, West, yeah. George, Hill. I like Paul George a lot. You know, he's an All Star yeah. this year. But you, you, again, losing Danny Granger, he was yeah. their leading scorer. But like I said, Paul George and Hill. George is great this and, year. He's and been, Hill's that, he's yeah, a Baldwin. rising star. Definitely, I can agree with you on that. And, and always Knicks Celtics. Nick always Celtics, such a great probably series. Probably the most interesting matchup mm -hmm. of the first round in the East. Right. You, you, you think you know, the Knicks are taking this? 
I like the Knicks a lot. Like, you know, once we get into more of it, I like the Knicks versus the Heat in the finals, in the conference finals. I just think if the Knicks play the way that at their best ball, I can see them almost giving the Heat a, he, he, giving the heat a chance. Yeah. You know, giving them a shot. Carmelo won the scoring title. Yeah. They took it away from right. Durant after Durant had won three years in a row. Mm -hmm. um, I don't Don't sleep on the Celtics, though. I know that they're yeah. not, they don't have Rondo, but I feel like. Playoff time, the Celtics are always are in it and will always use Oh, time. yeah. I, f I feel like even though Rondo is definitely their best player, mm -hmm. that now that he's gone, they're moving the ball more. They don't expect Rondo has to do everything. So yeah. they think that they everyone else has to contribute more. So you agree that the Celtics, because a lot of people uh, you know, around around the sports world have been saying that this is might be the end of the Celtics' run. Over, oh, it you know, might the last be. They're getting that, pretty you know, old. I think this could be a good series. I, but I, as much as I want to say that the Celtics could win this, I'll say next in seven. Knicks and seven. And mm -hmm. I kind of, Knicks Pacers will be interesting. Uh, the Knicks led the series 3 1 in against the Celtics during yeah. the season. So you can, you can go with but by yeah, that. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to see Knicks Heat in the Comets yeah, Finals. Like but ultimately, I'd, Heat, I think the Heat yeah, are going to the NBA Finals yeah. again for the third straight year in a row. Yeah, you um, can't. Like just said. with that win streak, mm -hmm. the way LeBron is playing, he's the MVP. Like you're not going to stop really LeBron. No debate. You're, you're, the debate yeah. is like who's second in MVP because mm -hmm. LeBron's having one of the best, yeah. he's having the best year of his career. And he's on another level right now. Yeah, so he, you can't you're not gonna stop the The only way you can stop the Heat is if you minimize D Wade, you minimize the three-point shooting. You know, you contain Bosch from his mid-range, but you're not gonna stop LeBron. Yeah. That's insane. Well, Heat Eastern Conference champs. If that doesn't happen, I'll be very shocked. Right. Uh, one versus eight in the West. Rockets Thunder. Thunder and four or five. Maybe Harden maybe goes Harden. crazy for one game That'd against cool. his former team. Right. Goes off for maybe fifty. Maybe they win That's a game, but maybe. Yeah. I but they, I'm saying understand. Thunder. Thunder and five. Five, uh, the 5-4 Clippers Grizzly again. Mm -hmm. uh, they this the these teams. I feel like it's a good matchup. Randolph Gasol might have their way this year versus mm -hmm. them. They have one of the better front courts in the league. Right, because you, you know you, you got to shut down Blake and, and you know, you got to slow down the Clippers. Like I said, in transition they're the best in the league with DeAndre and Chris Paul anchoring. So you know if you get Randolph and Gasol down low in the post, I think that's how the Grizzlies can really take yeah. it. You I like I like pull. the Grizzlies in that. I'm gonna take the Grizzlies. Take the Grizzlies. I'm taking the Clippers. I really think they're dangerous. Um, once again, once they get to play their game and Jamal Crawford, best six man in the league. Yeah. Um, so that's I think he can really take over once you know the bench the bench is on out for the Grizzlies. So we'll see in that. That should be a good game. Yeah, and I th I think I've said the Grizzlies are gonna win that, mm -hmm. and they play the Thunder, but I think the Thunder take care uh, of the Grizzlies yeah. in six because I think their size with Gasol and mm -hmm. and you know and Conley and. Randolph could mm -hmm. give the Thunder a little bit of trouble, but I'm going to say Thunder go to the conference finals again. Yeah, I can agree with that as well. Uh, the bottom half, Nuggets Warriors, the 3-6. Uh, a be lot of people were liking the Nuggets to go mm -hmm. to the conference finals, maybe the NBA finals, right. you know, like kind of a the dark offense, horse. But, yeah. you know, they lost Gallinari, mm -hmm. and now Farid has a sprained ankle, mm -hmm. and we're not sure about Lawson. Lawson's been, yeah, um, but can the Warriors play enough defense to, to beat the Nuggets, or do you still think the Nuggets... Well, I get, yeah, like I said, but you know, Iguodala is a freak, freak athlete. I, see, you know, you got to stop him. And you know, Steph Curry broke love the single. Steph Curry. Love Steph Curry. Broke the single season uh, three point shot. Broke Ray Allen's record this season. So congratulations to him on that. I, like you, you know, you said earlier, it's gonna, it's gonna be an offensive game. Really, not that much defense. So I think the game, the, the team that either outscores the other or holds the team under is gonna win this. Yeah, win I just don't think the Warriors are playing enough defense. Even yeah, I still think Denver. The Nuggets, I think Denver right. goes to the next round. I still think Denver is, um, is good. Two seven Spurs Lakers. Now people, that, that's a little bit people, more interesting. Magic made a bold statement mm -hmm. before Kobe got right. hurt, which was huge for the Lakers. A terrible loss. Horrible loss. Um, is you know as much as people want to hate on Kobe, you can't. Knock his work ethic, mm -hmm. and if anyone's gonna come back from this type it of this Kobe. Achilles injury, it's gonna be Kobe. Right. If yeah, and you know, so you think they have enough though to beat the Spurs? The Spurs have been, you know, consistent they're kind of limping always, into the playoffs. Right. right. They were the best. Uh, one point in the season, they were the best team in the NBA. It's just funny then, because they have all these old guys. Parker was an yeah. MVP candidate early in the no, year, then he got though, hurt. He's hurt. And Ginobili, Duncan's he's coming back though. Ginobili back. though, not the same Ginobili. Mm -hmm. Duncan is having a, is resurrecting yeah. his career right now. Yeah. You know, people thought he was a role player, and now he might be first or second team All right. NBA. Yeah, no, I can agree more. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. But the Lakers, Dwight has to be a force. Yeah, because he, he, again, like now, we said no with Kobe. Gasol and Randolph, Howard and Gasol, they have, have to, to dominate the Spurs right. for them to win. And I, I don't know. I'm, I'm still gonna pick the Spurs because yeah. when they're starting Blake, when the Lakers are starting Blake and Jody Meeks and mm -hmm. Ron Artest, uh, I'm just right, I'm you lose your leader. You, yeah, you losing Kobe. Kobe, you know. And I just think. You know, Pop versus D'Antoni, that's such an advantage mm. for the Spurs in yeah. terms of coaching. Um, 
And this again, the Spurs have been this, they've been a unified team for how many years now? Yeah, this is the, they're such a great thirteen in the last team. fourteen years. This is their their top yeah. uh, top four in the Western Conference. So right. I, I get this. I think the Spurs, Spurs. advance to the Conference Finals again, but I just really? don't think that they have enough fresh legs and young legs to keep up with the Thunder. And ultimately, I think it's Thunder Heat again really? in the NBA Finals. I I, I may di- I'm going to disagree with you with the Conference Finals. I think I got the Clippers and in, in the and the Thunder. Because, like you said, that uh, the Clippers have the young legs and they have the intensity and they have the, the right now the will. Because, like you said, they've been out for the last couple. They've been around the last couple of years, but haven't really made the, that really push. I think this year is the year that they make that push to get to the Oklahoma City. And like I said, you got to take a one series. Don't if you look at the Heat right now, right. then you, you're gonna you're gonna lose. You, you're you have Who to. Who do take you have in the NBA Finals though? I again. Heat Thunder again. I gotta go with Heat Thunder. I just think Durant and Westbrook. You know, two of the be- one of the best tandems in the league out there yeah. after LeBron and Wade. And um, this is unsettling as it is, I'm gonna pick the Heat again I'm pick the until heat someone again. beats them. I think they're right. the best team. LeBron's the best player in the NBA. And the only way that the, I can really see the Thunder winning is that Westbrook can't be shooting way more than Durant. Yeah. When Westbrook has 28 shots a game and Durant has 17, you're not gonna win games like that. Yeah. Like you said. Durant could have won the scoring title this year. He sat at that last game out. So again, he's been the he's been the scoring champion yeah. for for the almost three last three years. That, I think that's the only way. What are you, you picking? Thunder Heat. Uh, it's a tough one. I gotta go with the Heat though. It, it's a safe yeah. pick, but like you said, LeBron's on a whole nother level. And you we were like, how could the Heat get better from last year? You get but Ray Allen. You get they you know. Did. So and the, uh, just adding that other side to the game now, the three shot, three point shot. I gotta right. take Miami, but it should be. Hopefully, it's a, it's a good good series like last year, and um, I'm excited for the NBA playoffs. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. Everything starts mm-hmm. Saturday. All the games Saturday and Sunday. Mm-hmm. Uh, it'll be going through June, so yeah. we won't be able to cover the whole thing. But uh, we're going out on a limb here and picking the Heat. You know, I'll go with the Heat. This is bold. Totally but, um, disagree, but yeah. That's go. about it for the weekly catch for Paul Barquita. I'm Alex Valbergs, and we'll see you next week.